Congratulations, you bought your digital press. Now what's going to happen? If you're like most digital converters, you're going to get swamped with orders. Orders with many SKUs of different quantities, and you need to manage those efficiently as possible. To do that, let's take a look at how Label Tracks and its new file planning feature can handle that. I click on the tickets and find the previous order of that of uh, our customer's order, double click and load it up, and duplicate it for the new run. So now I get a new job number and I can put in the new due dates and let's take a look at the previous order and there's 16 different items on it and we could edit the quantities if we need to so now they're going to run 15,000 there and they're going to increase this one to 12,000 and make whatever edits we need with that information edited I can send the job over to Automation Engine that job is sent and now let's take a look at the new file plan tool in Label Tracks with this inter interface we've got all 16 items listed at the top in the order quantities and I've got the four files that will get generated for the digital press. It could also be used for conventional as well and this example will consider the digital. So I have file number one, two, three, and four and I've got four different slots I can fill up because my tooling is four across. Now I can manually click and drag and load up this uh, particular interface with each of the 15,000s. So I can manually go find them and place them. Or I can use this autofill feature that will sort by the quantities and create the four different files for me automatically. So now let's take a look at file number one. It's got four different items, 15,000 each of the four. I've got uh, four different items here. 12,000 is being run, so I've only got 1,000 overs on this guy and I've got 500 over here and a few overs on this one as well and all that's conveyed at the top where I'm running 11,000 uh, ordered, ordered 11,000 they've uh, running 12 with a thousand overs and now I've got an overrun value of $125 on this particular order. Now I've got the plan set up let's send it over to Automation Engine to have that plan implemented and the tickets gets created and the plan starts and you can see Automation Engine's already stepping the files to match the plan. Now this is a rerun job so all the art files and everything in Automation Engine were already approved and just waiting for the rerun. And let's take a look at what happened. So what Automation Engine did was select those four different art files and group them together just like was planned in Label Tracks. It stepped them out running the 40, 40 ounce, 28, 60, and 48 and they got the trim marks, everything's set to go. So this was set up for our 4000 series press and let's say that's busy with a different job and we need to get this produced for our customer and we can switch it over to our 6000. Now conventionally that would be a real pain, we would have to go in and and restep everything in Illustrator and hopefully get all the gaps and everything proper but in, in our new file planning tool all we have to do is change one value from 6 around to 12 to match the new frame size go back to file planning and send it back over to Automation Engine so now it's going to take those files again and step them 12 around to match our 6000 frame and we can see it doing that right now so once that's complete, I can view the files that were created and we can see that they're stepped. It's stepped precisely every time. There is no chance of error from one file to the next and it's using the same data coming out of your Label Tracks MIS system. So much, much more rapidly and accurately creating art files and press ready files directly for your digital presses.